Wow. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start off with four tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm gonna add that in the pot, set that aside and have that ready. Next, we're going to chop one whole onion into pieces and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna saute that. We're gonna put it in the pot, bring it up to medium heat. Then toss in three chopped garlic cloves. Next, you're going to need three inches of ginger and you're gonna shred that and toss that into the pot to saute along with the onions and the garlic. Toss in one teaspoon of cayenne and one teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of cumin. Making me cry. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's just, it's a late effect. It's, <laughs> it's a really late. good, it's Aww. And you're gonna let that simmer for about five minutes. After the five minutes are up, we're going to add four cups of water and two cups of the lentils. And this recipe works best with red or yellow lentils because it gives it a sweeter taste as opposed to green lentils, which would give it an earthy taste. Next, we're going to add two chopped apples. Then you're going to bring that to a boil for five minutes. Once the lentils have absorbed the water, you're going to add a can of coconut cream and let that simmer for 25 minutes. We used coconut cream for a more heavy consistency, but if you like it a little bit more soupy, you can use coconut milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how to juggle? No, it's been a while. Uh, I so used to do it when I was like in middle school, I would just juggle. And before we knew it, the lentils were done. Lastly, we're gonna add some salt to taste. Then we broke out a falafel mix for easy cooking to pair along with the lentils. And we just followed the instructions on the back, which really weren't that hard. Just water and the mix and let it sit for 30 to 60 minutes. As soon as we saw that the mix was firm enough, we got them on the pan and fried them till they were golden brown. Then we did a little bit of searching because we can't just stop it as simply all just tasting good, but we gotta make it look like a feast for the eyes. And we had some yellow zucchini and cherry tomatoes, so we cut those up, put them on a pan to saute, adding a little bit of salt and pepper and rosemary. And there we have it. This is what we're gonna be using to garnish the dish. It doesn't have to be exact, so you guys could use any items that you already have on hand. Just have some fun with it. And now we're wrapping it all up 
with some naan bread. Most stores carry them and they are amazing. When I was at the store, I also bought some saffron and we didn't use it to cook with, but I thought we could sprinkle it over the food just to beautify it. And we felt like something was missing in the middle, so we dabbled a few pumpkin seeds, and now we are ready to feast. Mmm, it's really good. Mm. I'm amazed at how good this is. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. I'm like starstruck. Like, this is what we're gonna have for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, huh, mom? Yeah, it's really good. Hey, this is the best food you've had in a while. Huh, mom? <laughs> yeah. And this is what you're gonna have for breakfast, huh, mom? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> So what you doing right there? Putting some chili sauce. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And then putting a little bit of the... Ta-da! Ta-da! Mm -hmm. That's falafel, huh? It is falafel. Mm. <laughs> I'm full. You're full? That's it? That's all you needed? <laughs> That's all I needed. Oh man. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, I am so happy I can die now. I agree. I think this is the best meal we've made thus far. I think so too. Yeah. And our falafels this time came out really good. Last time, they burned. Wait? Yeah. That's not crispy? <laughs> um, no. Maybe it's just crispy. No. They're yeah. completely burned. Yeah, it was a pretty bad experience. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> the smoke alarm is over. <laughs> We almost burned down a building. Mm. Yeah. I've always wanted to burn down the building. Really? Just kidding. <laughs> mm, red flag. <laughs> so this is... I feel like curries are a little more watery. Well, I like how this isn't watery, mm. like soup-like. I think it could have been a little bit more watery. If we added like that coconut milk, but right? I think it's cool because like when you dip in the naan, mm -hmm. it like perfectly sticks on. Mm. And I like that. I agree. That's like the preferred combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually kind of like making it like a taco. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean like if you just put everything on there and then just break it up and like you just fold it up. Because then you get the taste of everything and then it just explodes in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I think that's super like...
entrancing. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got put under a spell by this food. Saw that thing so beautiful. Better.